Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, today we're covering the, uh, the Prism Opus V1. We have Opus Blade number 342 here, beautifully laser engraved, as you can see, the beautiful millwork, milling work alongside the, the stone wash that Machine Ways does on the Prisma V1, V1 handles. Um, and I've just realized how long this blade is. Um, and to be honest, the Prisma Opus, or as it's officially called, the Prisma O, is kind of insane and probably the best aluminium knife I've, I've, I could conceive. Um, not only does it look absolutely incredible, I mean, this thing looks incredible, but um, this is, in my opinion, one of Machine Mouse's best offerings. Not the best, but it's definitely up there. This is an absolutely lethal combination. Um, seriously, there is not a single trick that this doesn't do. Oh, excuse me. This thing flips amazingly. Has the best tolerances I've, I've ever seen. Um, maybe my surf is a little better, but uh, by a negligible amount. Like, dude, this thing doesn't even... There's, like, barely any wiggle. Uh, and that's just because I don't have this thing lubed up a lot because I've been flipping this loads um, recently. Um, I put the blade on... This is the second time I have the blade on, right? So I'll be real with you. It's not my first, first ever impressions on on the Prisma O. But uh, I didn't flip it properly. I flipped it. I had, like, maybe, like, 20 minutes with it. And then, um, you know, I, I kind of just put the, the old trainer blade back on because... I'd clean the, uh... yeah, anyways, yeah, I, I'd put the old trainer blade back on. But now that I'm properly testing this out, like, this thing is, whoa. I I have no words, to be honest. Um... Like, straight up, uh, this thing, if I could actually do tricks with it. Okay, we'll, we'll pretend like that wasn't uh, absolutely horrendous. Behind the eight wall in reverse. Can we do hellbent? Kind of. Still working on my hellbent. Uh, working on some more, some more higher level tricks um, in order to kind of improve my flipping game in the background. This thing has been like a huge motivator for me. I didn't expect this thing to be this good. I expect it to be like, oh, it's a Prisma with a live blade. Um, not like this thing has now doubled in value, um, to me, in honestly, um, and like I said in the 300 subs video, I lost the screws, uh, I lost the safe handle screw, the pivot actually, the sex ball, I have the screw, just not the sex ball, um, because it's like my beta, I don't know, it fell out when I was, uh, just carrying this, and, uh, it is better with the two bottom screws in, but, uh, it is definitely... Still insanely good without them. I it's 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 not bad without them. It's it's not much worse. And in fact, I wouldn't say it's actually worse at all. It's just slightly different. Um, because this thing, uh, it's just absolutely. I I couldn't fathom how how crazy good this would be. Uh, like this is genuinely kind of maybe lost for words as to how good this is. It's okay if I'm being real with you. Ow. Um, when it came to balance preference, with the stock Prisma and uh, the, the Cygnus clone here, I sometimes hesitated. I would flip them back to back and I'd be like, yeah, the Prisma is better. But I mean, this thing is really bloody good. And like for, what, like 70, 80 pounds less? Or something like that. Like this thing is, this is really good. Made of better aluminium. Although new Prisma Pros are now on 7075. So hopefully by the time there's a blurple one. Um, that's what basically what I'm waiting for, by the way, to get the Prisma Pro. I'm waiting for a, a Blurple one. Um, uh, just, just in order to get that on my, my hands on that. So, sadly, <laughs> nothing quite yet uh, in terms of when you'll, when you'll see that. I don't have an ETA for you guys, but, uh, it is what it is. But yeah, this was like, kind of like, you know, as my kind of everyday trainer, what do I flip around when I'm at home? Obviously, I can't carry this around, so the Prisma is irreplaceable for me. But um, this is like, you know, it's a false edge. It's got that good flipping. It, it's really good. Um, and then 
I put this Opus blade on it. Now, obviously, I do understand. The Opus blade, it's not a cheap bit of kit, and uh, I'd expect it to flip better. I just didn't expect it to flip this much better. I expected it to be like, oh, it's a slightly different balance change prisma. Um, no, this has completely revamped the knife to the point where it even sounds different. Um, Balance-wise, it is, it's kind of set up in a way that I enjoy it. Um, it's fairly blade bias, but also to the point where I don't really feel it. Um, like rollovers. Okay, let's let's see if we can get like a good rollover on camera. Okay, we can't get a good rollover on camera, but that's not the knife's fault. It definitely rollovers better than maybe not better than the stock prisma, but like I don't know something about it. It 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 just feels better than the stock prisma. Um, chaplains, uh, for days. Uh, I don't, you can't chaplain as fast without the screws in, which is a little inconvenient, but I don't really mind. Um, you can still do, like, back close chaplains. It will still do, um, rev chaplains. Um, sorry, zero G ones. It'll do rev chaplains as well. I don't know if I've shown that. Um, it will do rev chaplains. It will do all the chaplains, basically, and also, um, you know, horizontally rev chaplains. Um, I've not found a trick that it doesn't do. It fans oh, phenomenally. Um, okay, we're still, we're still working on, on the bloody... I think the weight is something I'm trying to get used to, because it's like... I think it's lighter than the stock prison. Oh, that's also because the screws aren't in. So I'm still getting used to this knife. So there will be a review coming in for us for this uh, once I've spent like a week with it or enough of a time, enough time with it to to really get a good kind of idea as to how is this thing and how does it compare to the stock prisoner? Um, you know, I can definitely tell you for sure though, it is better than the stock prisoner. And so if you own two machine wise battle songs that aren't both trainers, um, if you own a, a live blade, if you own two live blades or a live blade and a trainer, um, really do swap the blades around if they're on the same platform. So all you original Serif owners, sorry. Um, but yeah, really, really do play around with it because this is uh, an experience I did not expect to have. Uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I can't lie to you, I've been flipping this all the time. Like it's gotten to the point where this is so much better than when I would you know, frequently rotate between this and the Prisma Trainer. And uh, the occasional time that I would pick up the... Excuse me. The arm shark replicant. Um, because obviously this was... This is... a uh, hundred... This is like similar weight, maybe like two grams heavier than the Prisma Trainer. But the weight distribution feels completely different. It's a little shorter and the G10 is really nice to have. Um, but then I try the Prisma Opus and oh my goodness, or the Prisma O. My bad for any of you who want to be like that. Um, and oh my goodness, it is it is truly a spectacle. We'll do a little. Oh, obviously tolerances are there. You go, literally nothing. We'll do a little sound test. Um, my prisoner blade is really beaten up because I do um do this, so the sound isn't as good as it would be. But if this had no no sorry, other way around. My zen pins are a little beaten up. It's uh, my bad. I was thinking of the wrong thing. That's coming in the future. Um, but yeah. It's not fully lubed up. But yeah, if this was brand new or like relatively like unflipped, uh, this would be this would be really good. But uh, yeah, this isn't something I was expecting for sure. Like this thing, absolutely insane. Like, really insane. Like, damn, son, where'd you find this? You know, kind of like that. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, you know, we're going to put it here, maybe. Put it here on the windowsill. 
Oh, that could be the thumbnail, to be honest. That's a really nice, that's a really beautiful thumbnail. Uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Check out my music in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. All that good stuff. I have to add this here for, like, algorithm and stuff. But it's, like, 10 minutes into the video, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely, if you want to see more about this, hear more about this. If you have any questions about how this flips, how does it compare to some of my other Bella songs? How does it compare to Grail level knives or something? How? What kind of value would I give this? This easily doubles up. This is easily, like, a $300 knife now. Um, even though, yes, it is actually a $300 knife, because if you were to buy this from Machine Wise, I imagine it would run you somewhere similar. But, um, no, dude, this is absolutely insane. Like, I really do like this. But yeah, uh, check out my music. Check out whatever else is in the description. Check out the description. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe. If you can even do that, you know, make sure the button is grey. Or I don't actually don't know what colour it is now. I'd... <laughs> yeah, anyways. Yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.